what the fuck's going on? My phone ring? Where's my phone at? Where the fuck did my phone go? Trying to answer the phone, I can't even find the bastard. Uh, I got both corners here. Now both corners were fucked up on this car. Both corners had that ripple effect to it. And from welding that panel in, they both had the situation where uh, we lost this line. But my friend Pete has brought it back after I welded it. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm block sanding. Now I'm hand block sanding these corners here. Because these things are very tricky. It's, it's, like a, it's like a bowl almost. Because it goes this way and this way all at the same time. So you got to be able to use the right block for the right situation. And this block right here happens to be that block. Uh, this is a hard foam uh, round dowel block. And besides going this way, it also forms, if you look right here, you can see how it bends. And it forms itself to uh, shape in there. So this type of repair right here is basically called a hand job. I hate to say that, but that's what it is. And it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time to do it right. And then now if we look at that right there, where uh, the other guy, we might say, welded that together. You can see where my friend Pete welded it up. I welded the whole thing up solid, and then I came back with my grinder, just like I showed you. And I basically mimicked what it should look like in there. And then, of course, now we're doing the bodywork and finishing it out. And it really, really starting to look nice. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and finish this bodywork here and uh, keep on moving down the line. You know, uh, you start in one section, you get all that done, and then you move to the other section, and then to the other section, and the other section, and you just work your way around the car till you end up right where you started. That's the situation, that's the fucking solution, and now it's time for me to get back to fucking work because uh, this is a big fucking job. And I want to make sure that it's done right, because that's the only way to fucking do it, is the right way. And if you're some lazy ass piece of shit bastard out there, okay, if you're a lazy ass piece of shit bastard, one more fucking time, then you don't need to be watching this fucking video, because I am wasting my time, and you are wasting my time. Plain and simple. But if you are a lazy ass fucking bastard that wants to change his ways and get off his lazy fucking ass bastard ass fucking ways and get off the couch or off his fucking computer chair or whatever the fuck you're watching that video on and say, you know what? This guy fucking works his ass off me. I want to be like that fucking guy. I want to get off my ass and quit being a lazy ass and I want to do something too. Then you know what you need to do? Keep on fucking watching and learn how to do it right. We'll see you later. Take it easy. This is Pete. I got body work to do to a 69 Chevelle that uh, is going to be painted red. And the sooner this motherfucker gets done, the better for me because I can go down the line 
and do the next job right. That's a hard dent to fix right there. That's a hard dent because that quarter panel goes like this, and then right here it goes down like that. And what it was, there was a little ding right here which popped this out, and then we had to final finesse that in, and then we had to reassure that this was all flat because once we paint it, we won't be able to fix it, so we need to fix it now. Uh, let's look at these dents right here that we fixed. This is about a two and a half, three hour dent right here, believe it or not due to the fact that this is uh, the deck lid, it's flimsy. So when you sand on it, you're pushing down on it. So you got to take your time and you got to basically let the block do the work, as you see, without pushing on it. Because when you push down on it, you're not really sanding it, you're making it a dip. All right, let's look at this little dent right here. Let's look over here. This was a major problem on the car, uh, right here, all right? But the main thing we're looking at to finish this out, okay, because this back end took a day and a half just to finish it out, is these corners right here. And believe me when I tell you, that was a big fucking job. So now if you look at it right there, now if you look at it, you can see how that line follows straight down where the trunk line is, and it looks factory original. There's no more welds there. There's no more nothing. Uh, the other side was the exact same way. Let's look at that. And we got that all cleaned up and fixed. You can see how it looks factory original and when that's painted it's really really going to look nice. We went ahead and welded up the uh, hole where the, uh, uh, the factory original antenna was. He didn't want that there so we took that out but uh, that really came out nice. It's all feathered out good and we are now ready to move on to the next section of our car which will be right here. We just finished up on the back end of our car. We went over that. I showed you what it looked like. And if you remember right, I showed you how to do this right here. This was a pain in the fuck off ass, but we got it done. And now once it's painted, it's gonna look factory original. And you'll never even know that this piece was replaced. Uh, we got another problem, basically the same situation. If we come down here, this is the lower front right hand quarter panel. You can see where the guy that started the body work, he welded that on the outside. That was unnecessary to do. He shouldn't have done it that way, but it's already done. And there's really nothing we can do but basically weld the rest of it up and then mimic that line just like we did on the top. Because when he replaced this quarter panel right here, he should have went down inside uh, behind that door panel and he could have went ahead and spot welded this on here, this lip. He could have spot welded that down on there just like factory and then seam sealed this and been done with it. But uh, from the way that uh, he did this has made a lot more work for me than I was expecting to do. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to fucking see what we can do. I also see that there's some body work in that area right there. So that's telling me that I'm going to have to redo the body work in this area once I fix this fuck up right here. Hmm. And then there's some more body work right there. Wow. So to get the ball rolling, what we got to do before we do anything else is we have got to grind all this down and get it down to bare metal so we can start welding. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and grind this door down. Uh, we got several dents in this area where the door is wobbly because I believe they put new door skins on this door and we want to get this as straight as we can. Now that 
that that's done, we're ready to go ahead and weld this in. Once we weld that in, we're going to come back and clean it up. We're going to bring that factory gap back in place, just like we did on the trunk. You know, the situation we got here is that if you're proud of what you do, and you wake up every morning feeling, you know what, this fucking day sucks, but I got to do something that's going to make this day better. Why don't you go ahead and do the best possible thing that you can in life instead of be grumpy and mopey and depressed all fucking day and work your way up to being proud of what you do in life so everything that you do in life, it becomes a, uh, what do you call, a habit. All right, and this is the situation we have here. I can go ahead and grind this out right here. This uh, brass, bronze rod that they put in here, I can grind that out. And go ahead and fill that in with Bondo and then grind it down. But that's not really the right way to do it. That's not the right way to do it. Because I take pride in everything I do. And I want to make sure that this car, whether it's Joe Bob's in New York or fucking uh, Hillbilly Hot Rods down in California, I want to make sure that it's done properly so it's going to last many, many fucking years down the road. So let's uh, start welding and quit fucking talking. something here it's lucky that I am welding this up because there's a hole right here and uh, if I wouldn't have welded that up that hole would actually cause uh, create uh, moisture behind the paint and bondo that I'm gonna put on here and it'll start bubbling out so we're lucky that we are welding this up in the first place welded up like I want to do and one more thing the only reason I'm doing this is because they decided not to spot weld it from the inside let me show you what I'm talking about so then you will understand what the fuck is going on come here. over here loser I need your help can you open this door for us please <coughs> I'm trying to show motherfucker open the door please I'm, I'm trying to show people the situation we have here I'm being a camera guy, I'm being a welder, I'm being a grinder, and you're over there having a fucking party! Now hold the fucking door over here. Where are the strippers? Hold the party, hold the door, party man. Mr. 80's fucking guy. Man, I ain't a party without strippers, brother. And if we look right down here into the vent pocket, you can see down inside there is where our panel is, right there where the light's shining. That panel should have been spot welded in right through the door panel area of the vehicle right here and then what that would have done that would have created our seam our factory seam down here where we wouldn't have had to do any welding and actually mimic it up like it should be okay shut the door put the blanket back over the glass go back to listen to your 80s music 80s guy first place i'm gonna start calling you 80s guy So basically that's why I'm welding it up here because somebody already brazed that in and uh, started the process. So all we're doing here, we're just finishing it up and then we will come back and make our own body line to mimic the factory body line, basically. <laughs> 